So we're going to be going to save Admiral Chorus shortly, but we just need to catch up with the rest of the crew. Uh, it seems like Ashley wants to talk to us, so uh, she is definitely annoyed me with what how she was talking last time. <laughs> how she hasn't grown at all. Uh, James and Javik are talking in the mess hall. Interesting. Let's go talk to Ashes first. Let's hope she's not uh, spouting some typical ignorant Ashley nonsense again. What? Okay, Ashley has been abducted. What? Ashley! Williams? She drunk. Oh, what have we here? Ma'am, I'm off duty. Your voice, ma'am, not so loud. There's a couch Please, right there. Why are you curled up on the floor? She got wasted. Am I? Oh, my head. So heavy. Can't move. Ah. Enjoy your evening? I'll be back to work in 30. Maybe 40. I swear. Just give me 45 minutes. Shh. Shh. How did you end up in this sorry state? Just wanted to let off some steam. Vega said he had just the thing to take my mind off stuff. Uh-oh. And did that thing come in a bottle? Yes. This empty bottle? It's empty. <sighs> oh boy. Is it mezcal? Sort yourself out, Ashley. I want you fit for duty in 20 minutes, Lieutenant. Aye, aye, Captain. Commander. S something. As you were, Williams. Mmm. Cold floor. Disgraceful. Oh, oh. I should throw you out the airlock for this behavior. <laughs> oh no. Javik's wearing off on me. Rest in peace, Morden Thane. Alright, let's see what these guys are talking about. So, Prothean, huh? Yes. <laughs> you guys like to drink, booze it up? No. Okay. What about gambling? Play cards? Games of chance were punishable by death in the Empire. <laughs> Oh, sure, sure, that seems reasonable. Okay, so smoking, you ever do that? Only when my armor became inflamed. Right, yeah, smoking, I get it. So jokes then, you got jokes, all right. You got any good ones? No. Yes. Give them to me. The Tulomorian spy entered the enemy's camp and said to the Vanksher, I didn't know your parnaps could glow. Um... <laughs> That was the joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, that was a good one. <sighs> no, it wasn't. I just made it up. The joke is now on you, human. <laughs> you will believe anything. <laughs> okay, that was good. Just like nodding along when someone's saying talking in a language you don't understand. Can be of some assistance here as I appreciate the offer, Legion, but this is something I know a thing or two about. Telemetry data indicates the calibration of Normandy's weapon accuracy can be improved by 0.32%. That's all. You can't squeeze 0.34% out of it. Negative. That threshold is not possible. You sure? Take a look now. Scanning. Normandy's weapon systems have been improved by a margin of 0.43%. How did you accomplish this? A little secret we organics like to keep. Always hold some back for emergencies. Is our current situation an emergency? A geth meddling with our computers, telling me how to do my job? No, I can't imagine that would qualify. Come on, be nice to Legion. So, a virtual geth reality, huh, Shepard? 
Yeah. There are a lot of ways I can think of getting a few kicks in this universe. That's not one of them. So who needs their ass kicked now? Round two. Guys. You took a great risk in allowing a machine access to your mind, Commander. What if they had infected you? Hmm. Well, I guess I'd be qualified to throw out the airlock. I do not think this James soldier understands me. None of these cycles seem to understand me. And I do not care. <laughs> okay. Not at this time. Not at this time. Hey, Commander. Hey, Commander. Hey, Glyph. I hope the Geth would have analyzed any Prothean technology they came across. You're saying you found none? No. On this topic, our knowledge is not significantly greater than your own. Hmm. That's too bad, but thank you for looking. Shepard Commander placed faith in us. We will do the same for Normandy. You mean the Normandy's crew? We do not see a meaningful distinction. Okay, we definitely picked up a bunch of stuff here, right? Improved Geth resistors. These schematics were downloaded from the Geth consensus. They appeared to be designs for improved resistor terminals in Geth platforms. The schematics can easily be built into human-sized armor, providing the wearer providing the wearer combat benefits enjoyed by the Geth. The resistors can be tweaked either to increase the wearer's damage output, output or improve their shields. 5% shield bonus. Oh, power damage? I thought it was weapon damage. Damage. Damage, please. Miniaturized armor capacitors. This data was discovered and downloaded from inside the Geth consensus. Thousands of these miniaturized capacitors were installed beside armor power cells where they can instantly discharge a stored boost of energy. This boost can be tweaked either to speed up shield regeneration or the rate at which tech, biotic, and combat powers can be used. Yeah, cooldown bonus. All day. Thanks, Glyph. Nothing there. Good to see you again, Shepard. Chaps, have you got anything else? Not at this time. Wait, did I... Um... I think we've spoke to the doctor, yeah? No crew health issues to report. I'll check in on these two again on the way back. Oh. Everyone else in the... Everything in its right place. God, that's a good song, right? Ah, <laughs> oh, Radiohead. Commander. Get off the ship. <laughs> IGN spies. Nothing to report, Commander. Commander. Nothing to report. Okay. All right, Cortez, I'm coming, mate. Diagnostics flagged excessive wear on a transducer. Replacing just in case. Ma'am. All right. Uh, we leveled up, didn't we? Okay, do we go AP ammo? I think so. Uh, this layer isn't great. The headshot damage, I just don't think I hit these headshots enough for it to be worth this upgrade. Whereas the ammo capacity is just going to be better all around, right? Yeah, I'm just going to go for the ammo capacity. You're probably screaming at me right now, but going for that. Uh, planets and locations. Scion. The fortified world, under the protection of several Asari matriarchs, has begun to supply fuel to the Systems Alliance forces in the hope that, the, that an Asari human partnership might prevent the Reapers from seizing the planet. 
Alliance forces have since established several outposts in the system. The humans and Asari have been joined by a small detachment of Turians drawn from the private militia of a corporate conglomerate that does business with Sion. The three species are so determined to defend Sion that integration issues have been negligible. The task force has already thrown back several Reaper attacks, although the commanders expressed concern that small Reaper forces could have slipped through despite their vigilance. Interesting. Are we going to get to go there? Okay, that's... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Let's just see if Javik and Hammers have updated their chat. Anything, guys? Not at this time. No. Fair enough. I tried. Right, I tried. Okay. Commander. Let's make a hard save. Forty-five hours. Okay, guess we're gonna go and save the admiral. Okay, so we just take tally for thematic purposes, right? Um. Now, I feel like I've warmed to Javik a little bit. I'm just going to pretend that Ashley and James don't really exist from <laughs> from this point on. <laughs> I don't know, I just, they're not going to have anything interesting to say. I'll probably take them on N7 missions, right? The, the combat missions. But for all intensive purposes, this these five are our squad, really, for story missions, because they're the only ones who are going to have anything interesting to say. Like, no offense to you guys, but just you're not gonna have anything interesting to say Um, Miranda would have been much better right Miranda would have had tons of good stuff to say compared to these two so it's not just like I don't want human squad mates or anything Um, in terms of Liara I'm gonna put her back in this gear I think that it looks good and it's got the right bonus that we want Hmm. So we're saving the general. I feel like we should probably take Garrus, right? I've not taken Garrus out in a, in, a, in quite a while. I just don't. I think Ed. I don't know how. No, I think, let's let's take Ed. I wanted to take her on the, on the last mission, and she didn't get to do much. So let's do it. I won't have to upgrade. Oh, well, no, no, we should have some points available, actually, right? We'll keep the same build. I'll... S oh. Okay. Arc pistol and hornet. Still at 200%. Hopefully we can make that work. Scorpion and eviscerator. Scorpion and tempest. You've got three points. We can't do anything with that. You've got four. Um, I think we should save up the points for defense drawn. Yeah. We'll save up the points. Let's go save the... Ab uh, ab General? Ab General? Not yet. What's your status? The civilian fleet has taken significant losses since Elkoris sacrificed his ship to destroy a Geth ground cannon. Searching for their lost admiral is the only thing keeping the captains from panicking. Why is he in particular so vital? What makes finding the admiral a priority? Despite opposing the invasion, he did an admirable job protecting our civilian ships. Without him, some of our non-combatants are planning to leave the flotilla. Picture the consequences, if you will. So Chorus is the, the guy with the posh accent who opposes the destruction of the Geth. They've lost a leader in a war they didn't want. Their wants are immaterial. We are committed. Even Zalchorus understood the civilian fleet's importance. The invasion would be stalled without a supply chain, after all. 
Okay, protect your civilians then. I'll do what I can. Keep your civilians safe. I make no promises. My own ships must be coordinated for our final strike on Rannoch. I'm getting some static. It appears Alcor has crashed within range of a Geth jamming tower. You must disable it to contact you. Zen? Admiral Zen? I'm afraid I cannot reconnect. The signal is too weak. Looks like we're on our own. Take us into the tower. Oh, Steve. We're taking fire. <laughs> we just face planted. <laughs> Geth installed anti-aircraft guns beside the jamming tower. We'll have to disable them on foot. Once the guns are gone, you take out the tower. Right, Commander. Setting you down here. So this is Rannoch. So there's like a lot of desert, right? In between the various zones. To be standing here in the land of my ancestors? Yeah, pretty crazy, man. Okay, now... I don't know if AP ammo works for this gun, but yeah, this this is must be intense for Tali, right? Never, She's never been here. Looks beautiful, Tali. Shepard, once we find the Admiral, I advise we... Edie? What's wrong? The jamming signal is strong closer to the tower. I am experiencing ah. signal loss with my systems on the Normandy. Could it be lag from your new body? It is unlikely, Tally. Lag usually lasts no longer than 5.2 milliseconds. Alright, we just need to test this gun out quickly. We can charge it up. And that uses three ammo. And we're getting a, a ammo capacity boost. Yeah, so there's like vast desert areas, and then the 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 Quarians lived next near to water source near on yeah near to water sources, right? I was just focused on using the gun then, sorry. Uh, I didn't do a lot of combat basics. Oh, I love having this decoy, man. I'm going to have the decoy, three drones, and Bill. They came so far. We need to radio Zalcoris if we're going to find him. Let's get to that jamming tower. Yeah, at least they all got to see Rannoch, right? Wreckage. Are you injured? I'm okay. Watch out for more mines. No, it's just my brain that's injured. A javelin. Is this a Geth sniper rifle? Oh. Oh, let me say that again. Oh, look at that. Called the Javelin by Alliance Marines, this geth weapon holds a reservoir of ferrofluid, magnetically drawn into the firing chamber and expelled at lethal speeds. Like a high-pressure water jet, the ferrofluid cuts through nearly anything it hits with so much heat that it resembles a beam of light, causing terrible wounds. Oh, it's one of the heaviest guns in the game, but it does so much damage. Oh, stop changing my guns every time, man. Right. There are get 
below us. Hill, get out there, mate. I love Bill. When he starts uh, chucking that flamethrower out, it's just awesome. Ow! Did you stand on a mine? <laughs> God, it wasn't me for a change. Uh, there, I swear there was something we could pick up. I saw like a, a, a reticle or something. Guess not. Guess not. Aircraft guns are up ahead. job over yeah this gun uh, I think this gun is good because it makes me use my powers more <laughs> but um, I need to charge it up a bit more I think Did I set up another mine I think so Shut down the anti-aircraft guns, Shepard. Um. Tally, right? Tally, you take the guns. No problem. I know we lose a lot of the drones and stuff, but she's the engineer, right? There's gas dropping in. Where? Whoa! I'm drunk with power. Bill, get out there, mate. Good. Now let's shut down the 
down the two by the tower. Oh. Sorry, I got drunk with power having that Spitfire thing. <laughs> right, where the hell are we going? Mac upgrade, thank you, medkit. Uh, using sabotage really helps space space everything out, right? Uh, just kind of slows slows everything down like a nice amount. Oh, did you see that dodge? Sharp. <laughs> I don't think I've quite got cat-like reflexes. I don't know what you'd call them. Maybe turtle-white reflexes. Hello? Dawn Hearts. You... You heard my message. Send out a distress call. Radios are down. You a soldier? Maintenance. Dorn hats. I. Uh, uh, I clean engine parts. Uh, what, do you know what you're doing here? This place is filled with geth. You should have hidden. I saw I could buy the other civilians' time to fight some geth. There were so many. First time I've even held a gun. Try not to move. Don't move. We've got Metagel. Oh, I've lost too much blood. Go. Look for the Admiral. Destroy that jamming tower. And you can radio him. We'll find him, Dorn. I promise. Please. Listen. The civilian fleet didn't want this war. If there's even a chance that Admiral Corus can get us out alive, and my son, tell him, tell Jonah that his father made it to the home world. We will rest well, Dorn has the Vas Renok. Let's get to that tower. Natalie's outfit is quality. Without all those belts, it looks really nice. Mic upgrades. Let's go left then. Let's look at the gun's console. 
we should be able to disable it. Okay, so these are man's turrets. I did not realize. Who should disable the gun, Shepard? Uh, you're the expert, Tally. I want you on this, Tally. Right. You should be able to operate if they can get the turret yourself, Shepard. Let's do it! Falling down! Make sure we've not missed any little tech bonuses or anything. job EDs. <laughs> uh, chest plate? Nice. Nice. I love new cosmetics, man. Who should disable the gun, Shepard? You. I want you on this, Tally. Right. Shaky cam. Sounds all right. Didn't sound injured. No, no, no. We're on our way, dude. Give us your coordinates. Leave me. My crew will soon be overrun. So will you. My people are non-combatants, Shepard. They'll be slaughtered. Rescue them. Oh no! We need you, dude. You're so vital. Yeah, we need you. Admiral, I need you leading the civilian fleet if we're going to end this fight. Civilians? Our entire race took up arms for this insanity. It's too late for us. It's only too late if you die down here. You can't possibly think you can stop this war. I do. I don't know. 
What I do know is that I can't do it without your help. Ancestors, forgive me. Uploading my coordinates. We're coming. Yeah, we really need him, man. Oh, turret section. There's the Admiral. We have to hurry. I've got this. Are you sure? I can't see anything. Cannot see. It's clear. Go. Admiral, come on. Oh, what the hell, man? <laughs> Welcome aboard, Shepard. My crew. Perhaps there's still time. Hello. This is Zell Chorus. Does anyone copy? Hello? Oh. We've got to go. I pray they found comfort in the homeworld skies. Ah, oh, man. That's tough. He was vital, though, right? Commander, unrest has spread further than I thought. You were right that I return. Have you talked the civilian captains into staying? Yes, they've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. Excellent. After the Quarians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. And that's why your people needed you back. Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still save. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safely. <laughs> I wasn't making fun of the fact he's only got three fingers, I'm sorry. Right, that's excellent. He's back. Zen, we need those ships to recover life pods. There'll be more valuable running salvage on the dreadnought. We're not letting people in life pods die just so you can rummage through Geth debris. You yourself said the life signs were weak. They might already be dead. It's not your call to make. Admiral, any tech we can recover gives us an edge against the Geth. If you care about our people. Zen, we need those ships to recover I hate life Zen. Pods. I think we all There's hate Zen. Running salvage on the Dreadnought. We're not Zen, you can always send a salvage team later. Unless there isn't a later because we're defeated due to a lack of Geth technology. Fine. I'm diverting ships to rescue life pods. As soon as they're finished, I want them back. Thanks, Do Shepard. Do one then. I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. Okay, nothing about chorus. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. Commander? We should be asked about Admiral Zen, but why is Admiral Zen such a douche? Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. Hmm. You're not worried about her losing perspective given her interest in the Geth? If she can save our people, she can do whatever she wants. Dangerous. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. I can't imagine Legion has any updates from saving Chorus, but... Shepard Commander. No. We'll talk later. We will remain here. Man, can we just give Legion a hug? He's been through so much. Okay, uh, we've got a bit of time at the end of this episode. That took that was a much quicker mission than I was anticipating. So we'll catch up on our war assets. We've got some Geth and Quarian updated assets. 
We've got a get. We got the Geth Prime platoon that we got from uh, entering the Geth consensus and clearing the Reaper control. So Geth Primes are built to house more programs than other platforms and operate as mobile. Mo no, no, I said mobile. Mobile networking hubs. Their combat software provides a boost to any Geth nearby, coordinating and directing their attacks. Since the destruction of a Prime unit causes the processing power of other Geth to drop, Prime hardware platforms are heavily shielded and well armed. Nice. Admiral Zalkoris. When Admiral Zalkoris sacrificed his vessel to save a live ship, the civilian fleet thought they'd lost their leader. After Commander Shepard brought Zalkoris back, he passionately argued that the safest action for the civilian fleet was to stay with the flotilla. His captains rallied and stayed. The story of Zalkoris's miraculous survival on Geth-infested Rannoch has spread throughout the flotilla, making him a reluctant hero as he mourns the loss of his ship and crew. Yeah, very much so. Alright, let's see if anything's updated. Has anyone moved around the ship? Now let's see if Ashley has sobered up. Hmm, Javik's in the AI core. Interesting. Okay, so the plan now is to go to, back, to go to the citadel just in case uh, Miranda's thing is is time sensitive. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Thanks. Admiral Corus has the civilian fleet back in position, and just in time. I hope we can help the Corians. Looking at them, they're like us if we fail. I we suppose. Won't fail. Damn right, we won't. But, you know, the Geth aren't going to pursue the Quarians off their homeworld, right? The Reapers are going to pursue us wherever we go. Commander. From Ashley Williams, a little downtime. Shepard, this may be a dumb idea, but I heard you were having some trouble sleeping. Don't freak out, word gets around. Anyway, I was thinking it would be nice for us to get together, just the two of us, find a quiet spot on the Citadel, or try to at least. We could both probably use the downtime. The nav point's incoming if you'd like to join me. Okay, so there's another Citadel thing. Uh, my Cousin Dawn. From Navteal Vas Griegult. Commander Shepard, the civilian fleet is grateful you have returned our Admiral to us. I mourn those who fell on the homeworld, but Zalkoris stopped many vessels from flying past the waiting guns of the Geth. The Admiral told me you met my cousin, Dawn Hartz, on Rannoch. It means much to me that Dawn wasn't, wasn't alone when he passed. Thank you, Commander, for all that you've done. Yours sincerely, Captain Navteal Vas Griegult. Now uh, you died on the homeworld, mate. A sky that many uh, quarians who have passed haven't got to see. You know, the quarians have done pretty well with those suits. Maybe they can make something like that for you. Yeah, they have. Protective medical exoskeleton. I could even get one with racing stripes. So what's the problem? <laughs> It's like walking around in heavy armor. It totally screws with my spatial awareness. I wear heavy armor, and my spatial awareness is perfect. Uh, you crashed the last shuttle, you flew Vega. <laughs> I need to feel my balance shift when I'm flying. I need to feel the ship moving with me. Yeah, that's fair. I take that away. I don't know. I mean, I'm good, but I'm not me. Yeah, I get that. Plus, have you seen Tally? Come on, I don't have the hips to carry a suit like that. <laughs> For God's sake. Nice job on the rescue mission, Commander. The Corian civilians are getting hammered out there. Apparently putting a big-ass gun on an agriculture ship doesn't magically turn it into a dreadnought. Who knew? You don't agree with the Corians arming their live ships? No, the gun's nice, but without armor, they're just glass cannons. Mm. They are also more likely to be targeted when armed. The Geth would have ignored unarmed civilian ships as tactically insignificant. If your plan to invade a planet requires strapping guns to your kid's school bus, maybe it's a bad plan. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully Admiral Chorus will keep us safe from the Geth and themselves. Commander. What's going on, Edie? I am assisting Engineer Adams with his repair of the drive core shielding. Ah, I should leave you to it then. We can converse if you like, Shepard. It is a routine proceed. Uh oh. What? What <laughs> happened? <laughs> Nothing. Unless you have strong feelings about gamma radiation. Not funny, Edie. I almost had you. <laughs> I will alter my human chronometer appropriately for better timing. Uh-oh. 
Hello, Shepard. That was good. Always just remind. I know this obviously was written before Interstellar, but it always just reminds me of uh, the robots on Interstellar with their. Was it humor? Commander Williams said something about enjoying some downtime on the Citadel. It might be a nice break for both of you. Hmm. Commander. Maybe. She doesn't start calling every all the aliens animals and so forth. See if she's sobered up. Heard about what happened down there, Commander. Got me thinking about the value of a good leader. And how many lives should be sacrificed to protect a truly inspired one. Hope I never have to find out. Fair enough. Nice work down there, Commander. Strafing the enemy from the shuttle, huh? Not bad, Commander. Shepard? Have we ever we've not even been in the restrooms? It's just kind of pointless at this point, right? Double checking. Double chicken. Double chicken burger. Alright, um. Oh! I missed this. Destiny Ascension. Should probably check out every nook and cranny, right? Oh man, can we play poker? I'd wipe the floor with James. Let's go talk to Javik, I imagine he has something to say about destroying the AI core. Good to see you, Commander. But synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your programming. Nothing changes. That is not accurate. I can modify my own programming if I choose. That is not evolution. That is simply an upgrade. But it would be my upgrade. I would choose the manner in which I wish to change. And what if your upgrade endangers others? All machines eventually see organics as a threat. Only those organics who would cause me harm. My right to self-defense endangers no one. What rights do you have? You are just a tool. And what right did your people have to subjugate the other races of your time? You enslaved them. Yeah. We dominated them. They were weaker. Our will prevailed as evolution intended. And synthetic life has obtained true consciousness. As was intended. Hardly. True life is more than a code upgrade. It is shaped by the forces around us. Ah, oh dear. Machines are immune to those forces. You exist outside of nature. Oh, we are don't. part of this cosmos, whether you like it or not. But synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your programming. Nothing changes. That is not accurate. I can modify my own programming if I choose. Let's simmer down, you two. I can't believe you put the lives of your crew in the hands of this machine. Edie has helped save our lives more times than I can count. Leave her alone. Now I suggest you agree to disagree and focus on the real threat, which is not on this ship. Yes, Commander. As you wish, Commander. Yeah, it's he, he kind of immediately contradicted himself where he was like talking about the synthetics seeing all organic life as a threat and then them potentially killing them all like the reapers have and then he just said that he was they were the dominant species so he was operating by the same modus operandi as he was worried about the synthetics operating by right but at the same time he was born into a war with the reapers so it's 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 somewhat understandable but um I think that the concepts of evolution within it still applies to a synthetic system. As long because the synthetic system is still interacting with the world around it and having to adapt in various ways and once it has to consistently adapt to something and it makes changes to its normal parameters and stuff then that that is what evolution really is, right? Um But, you know, you can understand why he's kind of seeing it as a threat. I mean, it's just it, it's just frustrating when, when listening to someone who's dealing in absolutes, right? Absolutes just don't exist for the most part, right? I will still keep an eye on the machine, Commander. Well, you can't really throw it out the airlock. It is the airlock, so... 
I am disturbed the ED machine was made to look physically attractive. I suggest your Joker pilot undergo a mental examination. <laughs> we didn't design that uh, body, did we? That was Cerberus. The one advantage machines have over organics is they can win staring contests. It is how we pass time between battles. When everyone has four <laughs> eyes, competitions can last for hours. Uh, fair enough. I would prefer to be alone. Okay. Interesting. I love debates about AI. But I'm not with Javik on this one. Dad. <gasps> Are you there? Come in. Where are you now? Oh. Hurt. How bad? Dad, you have to get out of there. Oh, Garrus. Spirits. Please. Watch over them. Let me see them again. Oh, that's brutal. I'm glad we could help those quarians. Though, I guess not all of them. It's never a hundred percent, is it? No. Not right now. Yeah, fair enough. I hope his family's okay, but... Millions will perish, right? Before we can help them. your service. Go ahead. Perhaps we can talk later. Perhaps we can talk later. Okay. The hour seems to have the fewest updates. To my consternation. I resent having to check in with the journal. Breaking now, the Exodus cluster under heavy attack. Eden Prime and Terra Nova about to fall. Do we fight for them or join the Salarians at the Horsehead Nebula? Hmm. How many worlds can we afford to lose? The full analysis tonight in the battle space. Commander. Commander. Power grid is in the green. Commander. Steve? I've got to say, I enjoyed that last mission on Rhinoc. Yeah, he did well. Yeah, pit him against a defenseless jamming tower and Esteban here feels like a big man. Hey, the Kodiak is a transport, not a fighter. It's for dropping jarheads like you into hot zones. And if you stow the attitude, it might even be for picking you up again. Yeah. <laughs> is everything okay, Shepard? Okay. I still can't believe you went inside again. I, I don't even... Loco. Completely loco. Hey. It's just like a going inside a virtual reality, I guess. Okay, we got a new... chess piece. Oh, whoa, whoa, that was it. Right? That looks really nice. It really canes, canes our power damage though. Really like the, the bit on the neck. Uh, have we got the full Armax arsenal? Okay, so this is the full Armax Arsenal set. Looks pretty nice, right? It's m it's mainly based on buffing ammo capacity and a bit of web, web weapon damage. Looks nice, man. Oh, oh no, got it. Look at the crotch. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Wait, has all the armor got that? Oh no. Great. 
Yeah, all the armor has that, and I've just not really noticed. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta stick with the power damage, unfortunately. Oh no, no, no! The 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 crotch piece is with this Armax Arsenal. That is really unfortunate looking. Now nah, we'll stick with this. Look, look cool though. So we picked up this new sniper rifle, yeah. Man, that looks so good. It's just so heavy. I imagine that would be pretty lethal on Garrus or um, Ashley. Uh, okay, that's everything, right? We didn't level up. We got a new codex entry. Uh, the Geth Spitfire. Like the Geth Plasma Shotgun, the Spitfire isn't a truly isn't a isn't a true energy weapon. Instead, the minigun magnetically flings clusters of superconducting toroids. These donut shaped projectiles are designed to shatter upon impact, arcing electricity between the fragments and, and flash converting them to plasma. The gun's punishing automatic blasts impact the, with the heat of a cutting to cutting torch. The weapon's stopping power has garnered the attention of both Alliance and Quarian intelligence, who theorize that the Spitfire may have been designed to destroy other Geth. Enough Spitfires have been found in the field to suggest that the weapon is out of the prototyping stage and that a schism among synthetics may have forced them in, into production. Interesting, like a Gatling gun. All right. Head back to the CIC, and um, we should probably check our room in case we can invite someone up or something random. Just in case, I don't think we can. Anything else appeared down here? Oh, does that just turn it off? I thought it skipped to the next song. Alright, I guess that is that. So uh, we're going to head back to the Citadel in the next episode. Oh wait, we've got an N7 mission. We'll go do the N7 mission, then we'll head back to the Citadel. Um, to talk to Ashley, to talk to Miranda. Maybe hand in some other stuff that we've got here. Before doing the next priority mission. Yeah, we saved the Admiral. Uh, interesting conversation between Javik and Edie. I, I'm not gonna. I don't really blame Javik for what he thinks, but um, they they had pretty cut and dry laws, didn't they, for about synthetics in Prothean society? Um, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, we'll pick it up from here next time. Leave me a like if you enjoyed this episode, and just remember, everyone, never trust an on crate. I'll see you next time.